This video will explain the difference between elements, compounds, and mixture. A pure substance is a sample of matter that has definite chemical and physical properties. And if you don't know what chemical and physical properties are, please go watch that video. So we're going to be discussing atoms, molecules, elements, compounds. Elements are the simplest pure substance. They cannot be separated into simpler substances by physical or chemical means. So a gold atom is a gold atom. A piece of gold is made up of a whole bunch of, dip of gold atoms. If I break it down, then I'm just left with protons, neutrons, and electrons. There are 118 known elements in the universe listed on the periodic table of elements. Everything in the world is made up of a combination of those elements, which is really hard to think about. So if you look at the picture here, you see sodium atoms and chlorine atoms. When they chemically combine and form ionic bonds, they create salt. The smallest particle of an element that has the properties of that element is called an atom. So an atom is the basic building block of matter. Like gold, we could have a gold atom, and it has certain physical and chemical properties. And again, go back and watch that video if you don't understand what physical and chemical properties are. All elements are made of atoms. Atoms of the same element are alike, and atoms of different elements are different. So, for example, gold atoms are all alike. A piece of gold is made up of many gold atoms. If you broke a gold atom down, you'd no longer have gold. You'd just have a bunch of electrons, protons, and neutrons. But when they go together, where the protons are 79, neutrons are 118, and the electrons are 79, you have a gold atom. Helium atoms are all alike, and they look like this. A balloon full of helium is made up of many helium atoms. If you broke a helium atom down, you no longer have helium, but just a bunch of electrons, protons, and neutrons. So, helium atoms are all alike, gold atoms are all alike, but helium and gold atoms are different. What do you see is different between this atom and this atom? They had, if you said that they had different numbers of protons, neutrons, and electrons, you would be correct. Because a gold atom is always going to have 79 protons, 118 neutrons, and 79 electrons. A helium atom is always going to have two protons, two neutrons, and two electrons. The Swedish scientist J.J. Berzelius proposed in 1813 that chemical symbols be based on their Latin names of the elements. That's why when you see gold, it doesn't start with a G, but A-U, because its Latin name starts with that. Each symbol consists of one or two letters. It's either going to have one letter, like nitrogen has the N, and then when they got to neon, N was already taken, so it's the first two letters in that name, and neon goes by the chemical symbol of NE. Here's some examples of some common elements, and you can see that carbon got the C, and then calcium is the first two letters of calcium, CA. Hydrogen got the H, and then helium got the HE. A compound is a pure substance composed of two or more different elements joined by chemical bonds. So here you can see you've got the two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, and they are chemically bonded together. Compounds are made of elements in a specific ratio that's always the same. So, for example, water here is always two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. They have a chemical formula, like this is the chemical formula for salt, NaCl, and they can only be separated by chemical means, not 
physical means. So here's an example of electrolysis where they're taking the water and breaking it down into the oxygen and hydrogen. Mixtures are two or more substances that are not chemically combined. They can be separated by physical means. The substances in a mixture keep the same properties that they have always had. So, for example, look at this trail mix here. I could take and separate all the raisins and put them in a pile, all the cashews and put them in a pile, all the M&Ms and put them in a pile. I could separate them by physical means. A cashew is still a cashew. The raisins are still raisins. They kept their same properties. A solution is a special kind of mixture where one substance dissolves in another. So if you think about Kool-Aid, we have that sugary red powder that you put inside the water. The powder is the solute put into the water, which is the solvent, and it makes a solution. Now remember up here it said that a mixture can be separated by physical means. If I wanted to take this solution and separate it, I could put it on the stove and heat it and all of the water would evaporate and leave that powdery Kool-Aid on the bottom. So a solution is a type of mixture. So just to review, an element contains just one type of atom that's like gold or hydrogen, helium, boron. A compound contains two or more different atoms joined together chemically. I cannot separate them physically. A mixture contains two or more different substances. They're only physically joined. I can separate them. A mixture can contain both elements and compounds. Now I want you to tell me, is it an element, a compound, or a mixture? What about rocks? If you need to, hit stop, think about it, come up with an answer, then hit play again. Rocks are a mixture. If you look here at all the different kinds of rocks, I can separate them into different piles. I can physically separate them. Copper, element, compound, or mixture. Copper is an element. You can't break copper down any further and still have copper. It would just be electrons, protons, and neutrons. It's on the periodic table, so it's an element. What about Skittles? Skittles are a mixture. I could take each one of these colors and physically separate them into different piles, but they are still Skittles. I just physically separated them, and they kept their same properties. Is salt an element, compound, or mixture? Salt is a compound. It's made of sodium and chlorine, and it creates salt. Amazingly that it makes salt, because sodium is a soft gray metal, chlorine is a green poisonous gas, but when they ionically bond together, they form a totally new substance that I can't separate back into sodium and chlorine without doing it in a really hard chemical way. So it forms salt. That's a compound, NaCl. Okay, stop this slide. Write these down on your sheet and tell me these eight. Are they an element, compound, or mixture? I need you to bring them to the next class that you attend. You can take a picture of it, a snapshot. You can then turn it into a PDF and put it in your Dropbox or your uh, Google Docs and show it to me next class and we'll discuss them. All right, nice job watching the video. Thanks, guys.